On this Mexican Independence Day, there is a celebration tonight at San Jose's Mexican Heritage Plaza, in part a celebration of what is being described as a historic bilingual book of poetry. And joining us with details of what's happening, modern languages and culture professor with Seattle University, Gabriela Gutierrez Imus. Uh, professor, thank you for joining us. Tell us more about what's happening tonight. Thank you so much. Well, we have this anthology that is being launched here in San Jose. We thought a perfect place since there's a lot of California poets in it. There's several Bay Area poets in it. So wanted to launch it. We're very, very grateful um, with the School of Arts and Culture and the Mexican Heritage Plaza because they've done wonders. They've but they've fundraised to bring the poets here. We're staying at the historic De Anza Hotel. Um, Dana there was magnificent with all of us, and um, we're able to bring poets from New York and Texas and Kansas City, Missouri, uh, people from of. Peruvian background, um, you know, people from uh, Salvadoran background um, to join us here at the, the plaza, which is a wonderful place for, for everybody. We just had the um, Chile Mole Pozole celebration last Sunday, um, and we're joined by hundreds of people. And I read a poem, and I'll never forget the two East Indian women to ran, who ran to me to thank me because uh, my poem had touched them so much. Oh, so that... we're here, we have 20 poets that we'll be reading tonight from six to nine. I hope you can join us. The anthology was published in Madrid, Spain. Uh, it was launched at the end of May, but of course, because of the pandemic, we've had less exposure. So we're very, very grateful to uh, the people at the plaza, Jonathan Borges, Stephanie Barajas, Vanessa Palafox, Chris Esparza, Joanna Acevedo, uh, Vanessa Gonzalez, Veronica Eldridge, of course, who took charge with this. And she's also the illustrator of the cover of the book. Uh, Gabriela, so let me let me just break in real fast because you said in the news release, we are marking the story of our future. Um, how do you mean? How so? Um, there's poets of all ages. There's people who have never been documented. There's poets. It's it's a hundred year anthology. There's nothing like it. 1920 to uh, 2020, we have 66 poets. It's totally bilingual, fully in English and Spanish, more than 700 pages long. And it's inclusive of people of all ages from people who recite like uh, Matt Cedillo, like spoken word um, to, I was just looking at one of the poems by this woman, um, Maria Guadalupe Valero de Pedrosini called Pierrette, that was her writing name. And um, she writes at the turn of the 20th century. Um, so not the turn really, 1920, one, I think she wrote this poem, a poem about the park. And the poem about the park is really about this little girl who's missing uh, this nostalgia for her home country. Um, and so it's a lot of the same feelings that we have uh, people in the Bay Area that have built, I'm from Watsonville. And, you know, so I've seen San Jose uh, where my father worked in the fields over here. Now it's, it's strip malls, right? <laughs> And we've seen it evolve, but also evolve in a good way because we have amazing poets in the Latino Chicano community um, that are participating. We have people who have learned Spanish. We have Filipino Americans reading some of the poems in Spanish. Um, we have people of all backgrounds reading tonight, um, or the, either the translation of the poem or the poem originally for one of the poets who could not be here. Hey, Gabriella, um, tell us, are members of the public welcome tonight? Everybody's welcome and it's free. And this Good. is this is what the Mexican Heritage Plus, they have amazing number of programs, uh, bicycle programs, uh, 
uh, for all of you here in San Jose. They're very inclusive. People are magnificent there. And, um, you know, they promote these events to include everybody. On Sundays, Chile Mole Pozole, everybody of all different backgrounds was there listening to music. Um, and hearing poetry and dancing. And this is, it's a bridge amongst communities. Uh, the Mexican Heritage Plaza joins everybody together and we all learn from each other. They have an incredible gallery. Um, and they've done this, they've chosen this book because it is a hundred years of Chicano Latino poetry. And um, we are gonna have uh, uh, people, 22, I believe, translators, uh, reading. Uh, they're all reading from four to six poems, four to six minutes, excuse me. Um, and you're not going to get tired because it's in English and Spanish. Um, please join us. If you can't arrive at six, arrive at seven. No, we'll get Gabriella, that, that sounds fantastic, and I'm glad you're helping us to get the word out. We appreciate yeah. it. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Have a good time tonight. Sounds like you I will. wanted to mention also that um, Professor Juan Velasco is one of the uh, co-editors of this anthology. So we have three experts, myself, another man from Spain, Armando Miguel, a specialist in early Chicano poetry, and Professor Juan Velasco from Santa Clara University. He will be there tonight. Um, he will be reading, and so it's local people. So if you're students, I know you don't have um, uh, physical classes, right? But you can come and see your professor read. All right, thank Gabriella, you. we have to go. We're out of time, but thank you so much, and I uh, hope that you'll have a good, a good crowd tonight. Thank you, Gabriella. We will. We're so grateful. Thank you.